So hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, my fellow creative designers and content creators. Welcome once again to another exciting episode on this segment. And in today's, ep- in today's episode, we are going to look at how to design this beautiful church flyer. I post the free PSD files on as part 17. And by popular request, there is a need for us to do this flyer again. Let's do the step-by-step tutorials on how I was able to achieve this awesome design. Yes, the requests keep coming. So these are all the resources file that I use for the design. I'll post them in the link below for you to download and then practice it for free. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And let me know how this channel is helping you so far. So without wasting much time, we just launch the Photoshop for the first time and this is what you see as your interface so either you two ways of creating a new document either you go to file then go to sorry file then go to sorry new file sorry file the new file that is why i always use the shortcut ctrl n to open a new document now the document size is open like this and then it's either you choose a preset that is go to this save or photos and then choose a preset or print go to Choose all the side and choose a preset. Preset simply means it has been already worked out. But in these conditions, you want to go with a customized size, which is 2000 by 2000. And then we set the name as what? Well, atmosphere of embrace. Atmosphere of embrace. Okay, 2024. The height is 2000, width is 2000, resolution 300, and then the color mode is RGB, is for social media handles. Then background is white, and then color profile, this just, and then the square pixel, and click on create. And you have a nice background or nice interface like this with me. So please stick around and let's walk through this um, tutorial step by step. We are going to begin with looking at the background. Okay, so with the background, we blended so many images together to achieve this nice background. And the first image you are going to drag is this image, the image of people praising or singing and praising and worshiping. Yes, that's we drag it into Photoshop like this and release it and wait for it to load. Guys, always wait for it to load. All right, so please, most times the loading depends on the um, system of your machine. If your system is higher, that is the specs of your machines is high, you have the loading very quick. And if your system is very um, um, low, you have a, a low um, loading. So hold out and then scale up the side. Hold out and scale up the side. Press enter on the keyboard, right, right click and then rasterize type. Press control shift and U on the keyboard to turn the whole image to black and white yes then add layer marks to this click inside the layer mark press b on the keyboard and let's clear some parts of the image away all right and then we blur this part and then let's change opacity to maybe 45 and i think it's getting awesome or see let's see another blending option and see if it will work it's a work, it's a work, it's a work, it's a work. I think with the opacity being okay, I think we, we can set a blending option to something like a color dodge. Yeah, a color dodge is okay. Color dodge is okay. And then we are going to bring another background. Yeah. Right, so we are going to drag another this background and drop it in Photoshop and then boom, release it like this and wait for it to load. Always wait for it to load good and it's downloading and we are going to click on ok here and then for it to check hold alt and then scale this side to cover the entire screen and this is ok press enter on your keyboard now let's go to the blending option again and set a new blending option for it and i think let's test them and see let's test them and see please the machine is in front of you so keep experimenting so you get something awesome that you want yes experiment with it experiment with it experiment with it and i think this is okay so you click on okay like this so the this is um, um multiply we set it to multiply 
and i think that is awesome now all right so that is also set nicely and then the next background is going to be where are you this um wheat object then drag it and release it nicely like this scale it a bit hold out and then drag it inside nicely like this and that is awesome you push it up a bit push it up a bit and that is okay so you go to this side and go for color lockup yes go to this size please watch carefully watch carefully click here go to color lockups yes color lockups and then we are going to choose this color lockup to it good 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 oh okay so instead of this side let's delete it and then we go there again and then set the color lockup and i think we pick something called a candle light yes where are you a candle light candle light candle light good yes that is it and this is awesome yes this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome exactly and then the next background is also set which is this you drag it into photoshop and release it nicely like this good so press alt and then scale it up to cover the entire screen good 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 now add layer marks click inside b on the keyboard and let's clear some parts away like this and then i think press x on the keyboard to bring the side back good and then let's see set some blending option to it and okay so after this one we set the blending option to divide yes we set it to divide and that is how we we're able to get this beautiful background i think the grips needs to go up a bit yes it needs to go up a bit and if possible reduce the size a bit yeah reduce the size a bit and i think this is awesome so all of this one put it in a group press the first one select the first one come and hold shift and then select this side it selects everything control g to call it a background right so everything you are seeing here becomes one background in a group now we are going to work with the text so we are going to first of all work with the logo we we'll just import the logo into it all right so working with the logo i have this um, beautiful okay now so importing the logo we have opportunity to choose between this and this but for the purpose of the tutorials we use this so let me just bring the same thing just don't want to maybe see that we did we, we decided to or i'm um, sorry we show this and we are doing a new thing no we just want to do the same thing so this control g and then put it in a group and then call it logos sorry 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 no cancel it and then double click this side and type logo good so this becomes the logo of the church for the purpose of the tutorials again now t on the keyboard or if it's not coming hit here t and then click here boom and then you type the test atmosphere atmosphere press enter and we are going to choose the font we use and i think what is the name of the font i'll have to go and cross check and i think is this is this is this is this good oh no no not this one i think i use an american something something font uh, american okay yes an american captain good good an american captain and then we use a color from this side good which this is the hex code 490024 490024 and then click ok and then ctrl t to select it and scale it up nicely like this bring it to this side and then v on the keyboard or just hit here to take it back to the move tool press alt and then drag this side thank you now it's duplicated or press ctrl j to duplicate it and then use the arrow key to bring it back down now type the praise so b r a i s e so good ctrl t and then scale it up like this so now atmosphere of praise thank you we have something like this and then you are going to hit on rectangle to right click it to pick the ellipse tool now 
hold shift to draw a beautiful ellipse like that and then we are going to pick a color from this side yes you are going to pick a color from this side and this is gonna be the color i think the color is from either this side yes the color is from there we sample it from there good 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 and then t again hit here and then type off thank you then on the keyboard and then move it on top and then let's center and align the text and the rectangle uh, sorry the ellipse together good then we we'll go back to the this side again and draw a nice rectangle again like this and then that one we give it color height yes we are not going to repeat yes good so color white is already there and then t again on the keyboard to activate the test to type 2024 okay uh, good so you move it on top of the 20 sorry on top of the rectangle now center and align it Control d to deselect it and all this becomes our main theme all this all right so all this become our main thing a theme as i said so select the 2024 and come and select the atmosphere good and then control g to put it in a group and then you can call it theme or you can call it the top control t again and then right click it and then go to skew and then hold here and push it up like this and you can come back and come and change the angle to let's say um 10 or oh, yes 10 is okay press enter and if you are okay you release it there scale it down a bit yes to make sure it falls within the grips and this is okay 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 so meaning the grips have to be um we need to reduce the size of the grip you need to reduce it down a bit something like this and i think um it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay not too much this is okay and then what next what next what next we brought up the images we brought up the images so let me go and quickly bring the images these are the two images the models drag them this way and then release it boom nicely like this boom nicely like this and then hold this Control T and then scale it down. Yeah, scale it down. Bring it down a bit like this. And I think so we need to scale it down. Bring it down like this. Good. And let's break them apart. We break them apart. That is this goes here and this goes here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just rearrange the images and if it's okay like this you are good to go so the next thing is that we brought some lens flare hey, where are our lens flare where is our lens flare okay so you go and import your lens flare nicely like this and then put it here um, and i think the first one must come here duplicate is ctrl j and then push the other one up first like this and then go here go and set it to screen awesome and then come here come and set it also to screen and in so doing you have this nice thing over there you have this nice thing over there just making way at the back like this and we brought some to this side so that it will show beneath it and let's change it to something like 20 or 40 and good that is it that is it that is it that is it it's awesome it's awesome now go to view there are something we need to do go to view then go to guide and then new guide layout and set up your guides yes set here to four set here to four click on this if yours is not here click on this and then come and click on this side yes to clear existing guides and guys this is okay so click on okay to make sure that everything's false within a particular range yes graphic designs deals with principles these principles are like rules guiding graphic design yes they are like rules they are like laws yes any firm or any place that you want to work with they may have their do's and don'ts so it's the same way graphic design too also has their do's and don'ts so if you go contrary to the do's and don'ts then it means you are not a professional graphic designer yeah you will not be a professional graphic designer so this becomes the image 
images and uh, maybe and names yes for the purpose of this tutorial we don't want it to be too long that is why maybe if you have the opportunity if you are working with it you can just bring the names over there so maybe i have this name over here i'll drag it and then paste it over here nicely like this good drag here and paste it nicely like this. and then the font i use is this Pavet. i use Pavet font yes Pavet. Pavet font is what i use so if you don't have that font installed on your machine quickly go through your browser and then go and install Pavet font on your machine and you are good to go so these are the names yes these are the names so let me just drag it into the name and images yeah okay so the names and images is set already left it the date time and the details so click on rectangle tool and then come and draw your nice rectangle beneath it like this and you make sure it falls within the range so go and pick this color yes that is the color of the atmosphere of priest just pick or sample a color from there and then the next thing is to bring this time icon drag it and then release it in photoshop nicely like this and then right click it rasterize type press w on your keyboard to pick this or go to this side and then pick the magic one too yes pick the reason why i said w if you put the cursor on it you see the magic one too that is its shortcut is w good so we click click on w on the keyboard to activate it and then click on any part here then click on um, yes press delete now it deletes the five areas control d to deselect it now control t to select it again and then reduce the size guys you know how to reduce the size by holding alt and then dragging it close holding alt and dragging it close now let's go and copy the time from here so this is it um, and this is it and um, we have this so everything should go like this for the purpose of the tutorial we don't want it to be too much that's why we are just bringing them so that the tutorial will not be too long and let me check them for you so this is i think so we are using pivot font for the six and then 30 pm sharp is also i think it's pivot font yes good 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 so this this and that becomes our date time so let me put those things in the group control j now it becomes our time uh let's type it in caps time good 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 so all this is our time now let's go and work with the next thing which is maybe the location yeah maybe the location and then i'll select them like this i'll select them for the purpose of the tutorial we don't want the tutorial to be too long that is why we are just selecting so we select all this thing and bring it here and come and paste it here boom and guys this is it this is it this is it this is it now control g to put in the group it means the time must go to this side a bit good 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 and then maybe location and venue so sorry i said location and venue maybe location and date location and uh, date now on this tutorial we didn't put date yeah we didn't put date because we don't want people to be calling and saying maybe there's a program coming up so therefore we are calling to register or we are calling to just and, and inform you that you want to participate on the program we don't want that so and again we want to issue a disclaimer that this images you are seeing or this fly you are seeing is for a tutorial purpose only we don't intend to maybe do or cause harm to anybody but it's for tutorial purpose only now let's put all this thing in group control chain and then we can call it down details so down details all right so this down details is made up of your date time location and any other information that you want to put and guys if you look at the flyer and i think that was it that was it that was it that was it but once you are done you are not done yet you said graphic design covers four areas first one is the background second one is text or font third one is what the images 
fourth one is adding beauties. Therefore, it left with the fourth one. Let's go and add beauty. Press Control, Alt, Shift, and E on your keyboard. That is if you are using, um, uh, um, sorry, if you are using a Windows. Yeah, if you are using a Windows, then after merging everything, the sh shortcut is Control, Alt, Shift, and E. It will merge everything in one layer. Now right click it and then convert to smart objects. Yeah, come. and then go to filter at the top here. Come to camera raw filter and let's boost the whole flyer up. Let's boost it up. Boosting, 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 boosting. Boosting is time for boosting, guys. Now let's boost it up. Now you have this camera raw filter in front of you or beside you or as you are just looking at it. Just experiment with everything that you have here. And if you are okay, you click it you, or you go to okay. If you are not okay, keep boosting till you get the nice thing you want so let me push here and let me push it to this side this is okay so push here too and let's see this is okay so contrast let me see and then let me see this as well let me go to black and see and i think black should go here texture let me go texture this is okay clarity let me go i think this is okay and then i have my the haze push it to the side and if the haze okay now let's see vibrance push vibrance to the side and know keep going vibrance and boost the vibrance up and then let's see the saturation let's see and i think this is okay so let's see the before and after so click here to see the before and after and realize that some changes has been made some changes has been made so if you are okay then click on okay here and boom apply to it click here to hide it click here to bring it back and realize that there some changes has been made some changes has been made great and guys this is how we are able or we were able to achieve this awesome player in photoshop please subscribe to this channel like and share comment and let me know comment and let me know how this channel or this video is helping you in any other ways please subscribe like share comment and let's interact up my social media handles are active and vibrant and, and whatsapp platform you can join the platform and let's communicate let's have fun let's let's discuss graphic design over there i love you i'll see you in the next tutorials until then adios bye for now